Hello scrapbooking friends and thank you for joining me for another process video. So today I'm working on my background basic 16 layout. This is the collaboration that I do with my lovely friend Moira O'Reilly where we create our own backgrounds. We don't use pattern paper um, and we use our tools. So punches, dies, stencils, you know, all, all, the, all the tools that we can, stamps as well. Um, so today I thought I'd do a bit of stamping, which I quite often do. Now I've got these two Tim Holtz stamps here that I got recently. And the one I tried to use one of these the other day, it didn't go well on the previous layout. Um, my friend Moira is very good at creating backgrounds using stamps and stencils, using background stamps like this and stencils, but I, I'm not quite so good at that. So I'm going to have a go today, but I'm not going to like try and do the whole of the background so when we say create our own pattern paper we don't mean you have to like cover the whole of the paper with with pattern you know of some kind you can just do it in small areas uh, or just whatever suits you so today i thought i would try and do a little bit of stamping now what i'm going to do i've got these two photos here of the lovely trixie donkey who resides at the Isle of Wight Donkey Sanctuary. Isn't she gorgeous? There will be a little video of her at the end. I've got tracing paper, but I'm not going to attempt to use that. I'm going to use this white paper here that I've already torn. I'm going to take, I've not stuck it down because I want to do the background first. I've got grey textured cardstock, white textured cardstock. And what I'm going to try and do is like the grey of the wood planks in the photo and kind of, although this is like a wood chip type thing, I think it looks quite similar to this stamp here. So I'm going to do a little bit of this in grey and a little bit of this in brown, and I'm hoping it won't look too terrible. So, <laughs> wish me luck. I need to, I've, the only grey stamp um, stamp that I've got is this one, which is a metallic, the metallic one that I use a lot. So yeah, I'm gonna have to um, make do with that because I haven't got another grey stamp. I'm going to just do what people do other people do who know what they're doing when they're creating backgrounds is stamp up a little bit of this and then just place it here in a couple of places and then I'm going to do the same with the other one so let's see how we get on shall we I was thinking the other day all my stamp ink pads I never um I don't really re-ink them I've got some stays on ones that I can use as uh, stays on re-inkers but I haven't really got any re-inkers and I was thinking, like, I use them a lot and I don't re-ink them, but I think maybe it's about time I got new stamps or re-inked them or something, but I don't know, we'll see how we get on with this one. Right, wish me luck. I don't want it to look, you know, perfect. That's not what I'm going for. Um, I want it to just be there, like, just be part of the uh, image. That's still on there, isn't it? Quite a lot of ink still on there. And now I wanted to do a little bit here, but I wanted to use a different bit of the stamp. So maybe this bit here on the edge because that would make it easier. This is a pigment ink, so pigment inks tend to sit on the surface of the paper rather than sinking in like the dye inks, um, which is probably a reason why it's still stuck to the stamp. Maybe I need to press it down a bit more. I'm definitely not going to try and ink over the other one like I did before and made a mess. There. I don't think that's... You can't, I'm not sure with how well you can see that, but I can see it here in real life. So that's that one. That's the Encore Ultimate Metallic. Then I'm going back to my Archival Ink Ranger to do a little bit of this one. This one. And I'm, I think, um, do it across here maybe. I might do the whole sort of bottom section, but I'm not going to, um, Put a lot of ink on. I want it to show, but I don't want it to be like really dark. Sorry if that's um, you know making the camera shake. This might look a little bit too square. Probably will. Yeah, it does look a bit square, doesn't it? Actually, I don't, I don't think I mind that. How did we have this? A bit of stamping here. It's a little bit more square than I would have liked, but um, maybe we can live with it. Let's see, shall we? See what how we what we think. These photos are going to go here on the tracing paper. And this is just going to be stuck onto the uh, textured cardstock. Hmm. 
How did I do it? Did I do it that way? Yeah, I did. I didn't want to mess with it and make it look, don't want it to look not nice. <laughs> Which quite often happens. Um, I think I'm going to put the title here. I've got the, these glittered alphas here. I don't know, I haven't kept the packaging. I think they're American Crest and they're quite glittered. And that X is a bit weird, isn't it? It doesn't really look, well it is an X, but it looks like two up, a U and then a U upside down or something. But anyway, the, I wanted to use grey, I didn't have the right alphas in grey. So I looked at these and I'd got the, these ones with, well, that is actually an ampersand that I've altered. And then after I'd taken these out of the packet, I noticed that I had the right letters in my yellow Simple Stories foam alpha set. But I thought as I've taken these out already, I'm going to use them. And also, Trixie, like, you know, deserves a bit of glitter, a bit of bling. Still not happy with this here. <laughs> I'm just wondering how I can, uh, if there's any way that I can make it better. I didn't want it all the way across though. I know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add a little bit over here somewhere on the other side, on this bit here. This edge that goes off, that goes into like a point. I think when I inked this up, I, yeah, I should have inked it up like a bit less kind of, you know, straight. It's okay on these ones because they're like wood planks, but this is not. And now I've done it, I don't think I can, um, I can't make it look right because I'd have to do the whole thing. Would I? I don't know. I'll just drop something. Oh, I dropped a stamp. There it is. Okay, I'm going to leave it as it is. I need to wipe off those stamps. I've wiped them off a little bit. I need to do it properly later though. So what we'll do now is get this page stuck down. Actually, I'll do that off camera. Okay, so I've stuck this card um, to the um, background and now I'm going to uh, add the tracing paper. Like that. Just put, I've put one bit of adhesive in the middle there because I think I'm going to use staples. And then... Um, these photos down of Trixie. So Trixie's been at the sanctuary since 2017. She came from Wales with some other donkeys and uh, she's about 17 years old I think. She's a lovely donkey. I think she's having some treatments at the moment which is why she's in this area here, this penthouse area because that's where the donkeys go when they're having a little bit of treatment of some kind. She might be having a bit of physio. I just walked past, I was just walking past her and I, she was just sitting like this and I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to capture that. Such a lovely donkey. She's quite a shy donkey. And uh, yeah, she's just looking lovely. And I took a little video of her as well. Right, so that's tracing. So we've got textured card stock, textured card, got trace card, card stock, tracing paper and then photos. Now, titles go in here, I think. And then I've got these other two bits here that I wanted to stamp. So I've got, these came from my um, Cosmo Cricket set that's very old. It's sort of horse themed. I've also got my Darling Donkey set here from Stamping Up that I'm not sure if I'm going to use or not. But what I thought I might do is stamp this one in brown, the Country Girl one in brown. Have a little practice here just to see what that comes out like. Yep, yeah, that looks fine. Should definitely use a stamping block, but uh, I'm going to give it a go without because I haven't got them to hand. <laughs> I could probably use the top of the ink, but I don't want to smudge it, so I'll leave that there. And then I've got this other one that says Howdy, which is there underneath my ink pad. <laughs> so it's kind of like she's saying hello, or I was saying hello to her. I'm going to stamp that just there. I haven't actually got any embellishments out for this layout, so um, I might have to think about looking for a heart. Trixie. Now then, the other thing that I've got is my grass stamp, this one that I like to use. But, yeah, mm, not sure now whether I'm going to use that because I've got this bright yellow tile, haven't I? Let's get this tile down. This is the packaging for those stamps, Craze and Planks, and it's Stampers Anonymous Tim Holtz collection. 
stuck these on here when I took them out yesterday. But I'm hoping they're not too stuck to it. They are a little bit stuck to it. <gasps> Get that in place roughly and then uh, we'll make it look neater once, I'm, once I've got the spacing sorted out. I think you can see what I'm doing there. I think you can. A little bit low down, isn't it? There it is. There you go. Right, so yeah, I thought when I'd done the tearing, because when I do paper tearing like of a full 12 by 12 sheet like this, that I'm going to mount onto another full sheet, I um, I just tear one side, then I tear the next side, then I tear the next side, and then I tear the next side. And I go with however it comes out usually. And uh, yeah, this is, I quite liked this, this piece here. It's quite indented there, just, just perfect for this little title. Trixie, she's a gorgeous donkey, she's a light coloured donkey. Scoobold, I think she is. Or she may be a piebald, I'm not sure, because she's quite light in colour. Scoobold, I think, is black and white. Piebald might be like the lighter colour, but I'm not 100% sure about that. I'm not an equine per expert. But yeah, she's got lovely colouring too, and she's got this really unusual pattern on her little nose there which makes it quite easy to identify which can be tricky sometimes when you've got brown donkeys with white noses right Trixie there that's nice isn't it I like that a lot now then oh the other thing I've got here is this lollipop stick which I've put Jesso across so I don't know if you've seen any of my videos for my the house of scrap my scrapbooking housekeeping that I'm doing. So the first one would have gone up already. Um, and I'd, I think this will be in the first one. And it gave me the idea to use these again because I'd used them on a couple of my layouts, older layouts that I did from way back. So I just said the top and I thought I'd try and use it on this layout. Maybe like a little bit stamping or something. I think I was hoping to have a little bit more space there with the tracing, um, on the tracing paper. But I forgot about it. <laughs> Could just pop it there, couldn't I? And I'm thinking of stamping, like just relaxing or something like that, and then the, and then the date on there. Um, so yeah, well, I've like, got to think about that. So I've just said that, and that's all dry and everything. Now then, huh, what else do we want to do? Hearts. Could do with some hearts, couldn't we? The Trixie here. That's too big. I think they're too big. I'm thinking the retro heart might go nicely and I'm thinking actually that this corner needs something. Not sure why. I do like to fill my corners. But I'm looking up here and, and actually, yeah. Even though I like the design as it is, I, I, I do think it needs something up there. No real journaling on this layout, just what I'm going to put on here. Um and the date, which I'm, I think I'm going to stamp, if I could make it work, stamp it on here. I'll probably use a stays on ink for that. And then I think it may be finished. So we'll get the stays on ink out in this brown colour. I don't use these very often. So hopefully they're, uh, you know, got enough ink on them. Oh, it's coming out, isn't it? So just practice that there. Right, practice that. I'm going to put the date here. I think it'll be okay. Looks okay, doesn't it? On the gesso there. So that's good. I'll keep that in, I'll keep that out. Shouldn't put it on top of my uh, layout, I know, but uh, yeah, <laughs> sometimes do that. Um shall we uh, do the stamping? I think we'll do the stamping. Yeah. And this cut this is kind of using my well, other stamps as well, isn't it? So I'm using those um uh, Cosmo Cricket and then the Tim Holtz I'm not sure if I'm using the Darling Donkeys yet but I'm, I'm using a few different stamp sets here so that's good now then can't talk and get this right at the same time these ones don't use very often so that's good and um, yeah it's always good to use stamps that don't see ink very often or haven't seen ink at all from a set just I think on my social media post I put chillax, did I put chillax in? I think I did, but I'm going to put relaxing on here. She looks as if she's very relaxed, doesn't she? Oh, I had to pause there, sorry about that, I've lost my thread. So yeah, relaxing. 
and it's going on this lolly stick really good <laughs> and I'm just hoping that um, I've spaced it properly where's the X there it is don't know what Moira was doing we always say this we never tell each other what we're doing just wait until the day and we'll both um, see it at the same time as you do so that's good so don't forget to pop over to Moira O'Reilly all the links will be in this video information and we do Instagram as well and our hashtag is background basics 16 and yeah you'll see all what we get up to they're not <laughs> not amazingly spaced i have to say i've kind of messed that up a little bit at the end there with the iron in the end quite very close together <laughs> can you read it oh no mm, i think you can but i'm not overly happy with that still it's done now isn't it so i don't think i'll redo it what i will do though is get these hearts down and i'm going to leave that i was toying with the idea of coloring coloring them in some way but i'm going to uh, leave them blank as blank wood just needed to get the glue flow in there I hadn't uh, done it beforehand pop that one there and then I think I'm going to glue this one as well what I could have done with this was probably put a little bit of um, uh, red line tape on it as well as the glue because it's a little bit bendy but actually it's going down okay a little bit of oozing going on there then get rid of that hold it down for a second i think it'll be okay and i think this layout might be finished um there's no real journaling to do on this one just um chicksy relaxing this day touching this I'm hoping that the ink's dried stays on ink because <laughs> I'm touching it straight away after I've damped it I might have to put something heavy on this to hold it down right so we've got a heart for Trixie and hearts for Trixie we've got and um, we've used our stamps today today is stamping that I've used uh, no stenciling or die cut uh, punching or anything like that but yep stamping is what makes me happy anyway so that's good that's going to hold and although this does look a little bit rigid in design i think i'm going to just leave it because i've done the layout now <laughs> so just going to uh, leave that let that be so uh, i'll and next time i shall remember to ink up the stamp in not quite such a straight lined way now then do we want to use our tim holtz tiny attacher i think we do because that's always a good idea a couple of stamps, a couple of staples there, staples there, here, and here. We'll do a couple there as well. Can I reach into the... Uh, tracing paper. I think I'll do one on this end as well. Just here. There. So that's just for effect and also it does hold things in place but I like to really like the design of um, using staples. Uh, if I decide later on that I don't like that I may redo it and you know space it out a little bit better but at the moment I'm going to leave it as it is. So um, yeah once again background basic 16 that's the hashtag you'll find us on YouTube and Instagram and possibly other areas of social media depending on what products we use. Um, I've torn the edges here. I've used lots of paper again, which is uh, I like to do, you know, use paper stash. A lovely title from very old uh, alphabet set that has been well used. Um, and my lovely stamping with my two little different ink pads. Uh, my new stamps and uh, an old new technique going on here with these two photos of lovely Trixie. So once again, thank you for joining me. Stay safe, take care and I shall see you next time.